Tony Gollan, we saw Zeus stole out of the barriers for the second time um, this preparation this morning. What did you make of him? Yeah, he's really good. He's very similar to what he was when I had him before, really. He steps away well and he, he doesn't sort of muck around getting into stride, so he was, sort of looked to be doing it pretty comfortable in second gear today. He's, he's trialled really well. Brad Stewart says it's the same old Zeus style. He see, sees him in the barriers and that's the last he sees of them. Yeah, it's about right, really. He's, um, he's probably a bit bigger, stronger horse than when, when Brad last rode him. He said that when he rode him at Eagle Farm and again today, but he's going really well. He's nice and fit. I've had a, a beautiful prep touch wood up to now. I hope that carries on to the Swiss Ace in 10 days. He's a special horse to the stable in a lot of ways. He's a horse that has unfulfilled potential, I suppose. So it's sort of exciting getting him getting this close now to that return. <laughs> this close isn't exciting. It's, it's getting exciting when he gets to the races next uh, Saturday week at the Sunshine Coast. And, and hopefully he's in for a, a good summer carnival. You know, that's where he sort of really made his name in the summer here quite a few seasons ago now. And, there's no reason the summer racing won't be kind to him again. One rival he'll have there at the Sunshine Coast is The Move, who also jumped out in a different heat here this morning. Yeah, he was pretty good. He had no, no blinkers on, Steph Thornton rode him, and he doesn't really love this sort of ground today, this sort of soft, chewy sort of track. So he's a horse, as we know, with the hood on and, and good ground, and he'd be a worthy rival uh, come Saturday week, provided we can get the right surface. Okay, Baller and Garibaldi also went around. They were behind Zoo Style. Yeah, well, Baller's in this Saturday in the, in the Keith now. He didn't want a hard hit out today. He wanted to tick him over. He's, he's improving fitness-wise. Uh, he'll be pretty good for this week. I'd say he'd be better for the George Moore. He's really starting to come to hand nicely. And Garibaldi, not sure what we do with him yet. Whether this weekend is not looking that kind at this point of the, this point of the week. So I'll just see. Uh, he'd be better suited this week at the 1,200 than what he would be the 1,000 of next week. But he's going well. We also saw some two-year-olds of yours jump out, and we see them in the noms this week. We're yet to see a gone on two-year-old this season, so is that going to happen this Saturday? Not sure yet. Uh, <laughs> we see what the weather does, see how they go today. When I see how they pull up from their jump outs, etc. They, they all trialled really well at Eagle Farm the other day. Um, yeah, soft ground today is a, a new thing, and obviously we've spoken about the weather during this, um, during this interview. It looks pretty ordinary for the rest of the week. So I'll just wait and see. You won't see them all line up against each other, that's for sure, and so we'll certainly be spacing them apart. Where there are some nice two-year-olds to come out of the stable in the next month. There's two months to Magic Millions. Do you envisage yourself playing a part in the two-year-old race this year? I'll tell you a week away from it, I'd say. It's, it's, a, it's a long time, two-year-olds. You know, I, I do feel I've got some really nice two-year-olds in the yard this year, and I think you will see some hopefully get to the races in the next two months, and if they do and get there and show us what they're showing us at home, then I'd expect to be there on, on the big day. But as always, it'll be a big build-up to Magic Millions, and it'll be a very tough race.